guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Victor once again. Today I am extremely happy and joyful that I am finally going to show you my wonderful and magical Barcelona, which is my city. I mean, I live in the county of Barcelona, if you put it that way. Uh, and then there is like the capital, which is Barcelona city. So I live in the county. So I live like around 30, 40 minutes by train from the city. Uh, right now I have to go and have breakfast in the cafe here in my place. And then I can show you the city. So follow me. What a lovely day. In Catalonia, unfortunately, due to coronavirus, you can do only takeaway before 1 p.m. We decided to order two croissants and two cappuccinos. The name of my town is Olesa de Montserrat, which is not far away from Barcelona and just a few kilometers away from the monastery of Montserrat. I have to hurry up because the train is coming. Our train is coming soon. Just as we go on the train, it started to rain. And finally, we have just arrived at Plaza España train station. Now it's time to go for a wander. Welcome to Barcelona everyone, now it's time to talk about my home. It's time to give you an insight into this wonderful, majestic Mediterranean city. Barcelona is the capital of the autonomous region of northern Spain, Catalonia. This city has a population of 1,600,000 people and with a metropolitan area of almost 6 million people. Barcelona is Spain's second biggest city and the sixth in the European continent. The history of Barcelona stretches over 2000 years to its origins. Some historians believe that Barcelona is even older than Rome. Many years ago, Catalonia was in Catalonia. In fact, Catalonia was part of the Kingdom of Aragon. Barcelona is a great city with too many sides. Unfortunately, today I won't be able to show you all of them, but I'll try to show you a few of the most important places you must see in Barcelona when you come. And as our first stop, we've got Plaza España. At this place, we can find a very old bullfight arena, which was built in the 1900s. But nowadays, this place is basically just a shopping center, from where you can have a very beautiful view to the city. So let's go inside and let me show you how to get to the fourth floor. So first we have to get to the third floor, and from the third floor we can get on the escalators and then get out to the terrace. From up there you can have a very beautiful view to Plaza España and to the rest of the city. So now you know where to go when you come to Barcelona if you want to have a 360 degree view to the city. I forgot to say that here you can have an amazing meal as there are a few cafes up there. Time to go to our second spot. In this place you can have a nice cafe and you can also go to one of the most important museums in Barcelona. I'm talking about El Palau Nacional which is the Museum of Art in Catalonia. This place, in my opinion, is magical as it is full of sculptures and has an amazing view to the rest of the city. Mm -hmm. 
I have to say that the Palau Nacional is the most beautiful building I've ever seen as a museum in my whole entire life. What I like about Mondrig is to go for a nice walk through the gardens because this place is extremely green and if you are like me, you would really enjoy to be surrounded by nature. Back in the city, we decided to go and have lunch. I think that anyone from Barcelona would agree with me that one of the most charming places in the city is La Gran Via de las Cortes Catalanas, which is located right in the center of the city. In this place you can really appreciate real Catalan architecture, which is extremely outstanding. This beautiful avenue has a length of 13 kilometers and is the longest in Catalonia and the second in the whole of Spain. Now it's time to go to Plaza Universidad, which is Barcelona's heart. Right at this square, you can see one of Barcelona's oldest buildings, which is the University of the City, founded in 1450. This university is among the 20 best universities in the world. I love walking around Barcelona because I know that I can see in any direction and I would see only beauty. And we have just come to our fifth destination, which is Plaza de Catalunya. This is Barcelona's biggest and most central square. Many of the most important streets and avenues meet right here. This place is normally packed with people, but unfortunately due to coronavirus is almost empty. I have just come to Las Ramblas de Barcelona, which is like um, the most iconic street here. Uh, cars can only go like by, but not like specifically through the street. This place is very nice. Obviously, many people come here. La Rambla de Barcelona, without any doubt, is Barcelona's most beautiful and famous street. You can come to this place with anyone and enjoy a nice walk from Plaza de Catalunya down to the port. You can see amazing cathedrals just walking down the street as this place is not far away from the Gothic Quarter. La Rambla, apart from having plenty of restaurants and cafes, it has Barcelona's most emblematic and iconic food market, La Boqueria. In this place, you can find all sorts of desserts and everything you can imagine. But of course, due to its location, things are not very cheap. Right here is where the terrorist attack took place in 2017. What am I about to show you is one of the most dominant and major sites of Barcelona. If you want to know a secret, one of my favorite. I don't know why, but I just like it. And with all of you... I know that this might be a very controversial topic to talk about, but in my opinion, this man made Spain be one of the most important countries in history. I'm talking about Christopher Columbus Monument. And with all of you, the port of Barcelona. Personally, I like to come to the port of the city, because that way I can just go for a wander and feel very relaxed. I would recommend you to buy a tour and get on a boat and go sailing the sea, as they are very affordable. The cost of the ticket is 7 euros. There is something I always wanted to do and is to go from Barcelona to Paris and it is possible as there are 6 trains every day departing from Estación de Francia to Paris. Now it's time to move on. We have to see one of Barcelona's most important sites. 
I'm talking about the Arc de Triomphe, which is the Triumph Arch of Barcelona. I was not expecting this alive ambience, it's absolutely beautiful. This magnificent piece of art was designed and built by Giuseppe Villaseca y Casanovas in 1888. I have to say with all due respect that this arch is as beautiful as the one in Paris. Monuments like this make Barcelona be a city museum. Time to go and see our final sight. And we have approached our final destination, Sagrada Familia. I suppose that you had already predicted that I was going to leave it for the end. Sagrada Familia is an unfinished Roman Catholic basilica. This piece of art was designed by Antonio Gaudí, who was a Catalan architect. Its construction began in 1852 and it's believed to be finished in 2026. If you come to Barcelona, you must see this majestic and beautiful basilica, otherwise you wouldn't really know what Barcelona is. And from the city of Trims, Barcelona, I have to say goodbye. But please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. See you next time on a new adventure.